So, Dante and QoS. So let me explain my setup. So I have over there somewhere, I have a Mac Mini playing some tracks, as you can see. Uh, it comes on this cable, goes into this bottom switch, uh, which would be my sort of like stage switch, and then it goes via this blue cable into this QL5. This QL5 is acting essentially as a bridge from DVS to normal Dante. Reason being DVS doesn't support QoS, so, or doesn't tag the packets as um, with DSCP values. So therefore QoS doesn't have an effect unless you manually do it anyway. So it's coming into this, and then I'm using the direct out of this, which has tagged packets on it, back down the blue cable, into my stage switch, so that's my stage acting as my stage box. Going over this green cable, effectively like a, a trunk to front of house, into my front of house switch, which then has my front of house console, in this case TF1, uh, which has those 64 channels patched. Well, it doesn't, it has 32 channels patched, but you get the point. And then I'm currently just listening to the audio coming out of it, so you can just hear this track that's uh, that's playing out. So it's a multi track recording and then just mixing it down on the TF1. I also have Two cables plugged in, one at stage, one at front of house, uh, and then plugged into these two laptops. So on these laptops, I've got uh, an application called iPerf, both running as client and server. Uh, I have Dante controller running, showing the latency of the TF1's receives. Um, so this is the latency between the QL5 and the TF1, essentially the latency of audio over that stage link, which is quite important. And then uh, basically what I want to show is that when you have QoS correctly enabled on your switches, if you load up your trunk cable um, your latency and your audio won't drop out but if you have QS disabled you will you will hear audio uh, glitches and you will see on this graph errors um, so let me just run this so I'm just going to load up the command so I'm just going to do it for five seconds I'm just going to stick the phone next to uh, next to those headphones so you can see or hear what's going on <laughs> So that test completed, you can see got some reasonable bandwidth uh, down that cable. You can also see on this latency graph, this third bar started to grow. Um, so slightly higher latencies. So what I'm gonna quickly do now is on these, these are Netgear M4100, so they don't have um, the Pro AV stuff set up on them. Um, not that it's relevant. Because so I've now set these both to be untrusted, which on these switches essentially is QoS turned off. So let me run iPerf again. So if I do the same test again, you will hear the audio glitch out and you will also see errors on this graph. So. So you can see did achieve some numbers again, but you can see clearly on the graph that my audio was arriving late. Uh, and you could clearly hear that as well. Even though I'm recording on a phone, you could clearly hear the difference. So that's why QoS is important in any scenario where you have mixed traffic. Um, so either mixed traffic or mixed port speeds, that's why QoS is important to avoid your audio being late.